Hi, Wipe All Wipers race fans. This is Jeff Hammond, and it's time for that ever-coveted mid-season report. That's right. We're not going to give anybody a report card, but at the same time, just to give you a quick review of what's happened in 2010. It's been a pretty exciting season so far, and when you think about the 2010 season, what about NASCAR and what they did right on the very beginning of the season, announcing some of the new ideas that we're going to bring into play. First, they were going to get rid of the wing and bring out the spoiler, plus multiple green-white checkers. Not just one, but multiple, up to three times to get the race finished. And the number one thing so far in 2010 is boys have at it. You know, what that means, that tells these guys they're going back to old school racing, like it used to be, back when Cale Yarbrough and Bobby Allison and Richard Petty were in their heyday. You could really kind of beat and bang and carry it on, and if you didn't like it, you get out of the race car, well, you could kind of like, you know, go nose to nose or toes to toes, whichever one you wanted to do. It's really been an exciting season, and when you think about it, Daytona, right on the get-go, the season got off to a great start because we had Jamie McMurray, who had gone back to driving for Chip Ganassi, where he got his first win in Sprint Cup Series. He was able to win the Daytona 500 with guess who on hot on his heels, Dale Earnhardt Jr. It looked like Dale Earnhardt Jr. will come out of the box and be really strong this season. So far, he struggled a little bit. But for Jamie Mack and a lot of these guys, well, the season got off fast and furious. And believe it or not, his teammate and him got into it the first Phoenix race. That's right, Juan Pablo Montoya and Jamie McMurray, they had words and they actually crashed each other out. And all of a sudden, Have At It Boys was at the very at the very top of the list as far as things that were going on this season. Shortly after that, you got Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon. That's right, two four timers going at it and their teammates. They were having words. Woo, things were really picking up really quick as far as the season's concerned. But we got to Atlanta and all of a sudden, I mean, it really exploded when we talk about Brad Keselowski and Carl Edwards. Well, Brad kind of got into Carl early part of the race, and then next thing you know, Carl got back out there with a fixed race car and said, hey, buddy, you ran into me, I'm running into you. Well, he sent Brad flying. And from that point on, things have really picked up between these two. They've been battling all year long, and next thing you know, they're wrecking each other, and NASCAR's having to jump in the mix of it. I mean, we dream. The Have Edit Boys was going to be such an exciting part of 2010, and it's not over yet. Folks, we're only halfway through, and these guys are beating and banging on each other like it's the final race at Homestead. So can you imagine what the second half of the season is going to look like? And you think about all the things that are going on between Brad and Carl, especially the Nationwide Series, these two guys are battling for a championship, while Carl's still trying to battle his way into the chase. we got a lot of things going on here in NASCAR, and you don't want to miss any of it. And Wipo's a big part of it each and every week. The fact we talk about Joe Gibbs and what they've been doing in the Nationwide Series. Brad, he's leading the points right now as far as Nationwide's concerned. It's just so confusing. It's so exciting. You don't know which one of the things you want to pick up first or look at second because it's always happening. Every weekend is something exciting. I mentioned the White Ball Wipers Crew Chief of the Race Award I'm a part of. You think about Todd Barrier, Frankie Kerr, they're part of the panel. We've had our hands full this year because we've had a lot of great and exciting finishes and some great calls by a lot of different crew chiefs that have given their team a win. We've already talked about what happened to Jamie McMurray and the fact that Bono Manu has been right there at the top of our list. Lance McGrew, a lot of these guys, Chad Canals, former champion for our series, as well as a former White Ball Wipers crew chief for the year award winner. They've all been right in the mix. and There's so much stuff going on. I mean, I'm just all jazzed up because it's just so exciting every week to see who's going to make that great call, who's going to wind up maybe making a bad call and cost themselves a race along the way. And we talk about crew chiefs. We talk about Steve Letarte and Lance McGrew and Bob Osborne. He was a former member of this voting panel for White Ball. All these guys are trying to get to victory lane, and a lot of times crew chiefs are the first guys to go when things are not working out right. I'll give you a good example. Matt Kissett. Had a very successful 2009 season, winning the Daytona 500 as well as the second race of the season. And him and Drew Blickensdurfer were doing really well. Well, after one race, they moved him out and brought Todd Parrott in. Todd was going along. Car was in the top 12 as far as the chase was concerned. But the magic they were looking for wasn't there. And once again, Jack Roush, Matt Kenseth, they made another change and brought in veteran uh, Jimmy Finney to try to get this 17 car going along. So for crew chiefs, you know, it can be a very, very dangerous position if you're not winning and you're not putting up top 10s like you need to. 
So each and every week, whenever Todd and Frankie and myself sit down to make a choice as far as who's done the best job for the weekend, sometimes it's tougher than what you can imagine. And a lot of times you may be voting for a guy who may win one week and be out of the job the next. So you got to keep up with that. Go to wipeball.com and see what's going on in the crew chief's corner each and every week. Don't miss it. Been talking about racing so much, I just about forgot to tell you the biggest part about wipe all and what's been going on this year. Remember back in April, big announcement about the race out there coming up here in November the wipe all 200 powered by Kimberly Clark Professional NASCAR nationwide race November the 13th. How much bigger can it get, folks? I mean, how exciting can it be? Wipe all, who's been supporting the crew chiefs all these years, now has a nationwide race that uh, afternoon, Saturday afternoon. It's going to be unbelievable. You think about the battle. The championship battle could be settled right there in Phoenix in our own race, that Wipeout 200. Keselowski, Edwards. Let's don't forget Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick will be there, as well as the lady Danica Patrick. Everybody battling for that final position. Hopefully points to go along with it. And the fact that you're going to be have an opportunity to win the inaugural Wipeout 200 powered by Kimberly Clark Professional. It can't get any better than that. Oh, yes, it can. I just now remembered you can also go to Wipeall on the Facebook site. Now, facebook.com forward slash Wipeall Wipers, and you can learn how to win. That's right, win a trip, all-expense trip to Phoenix to be a part of all this. Can you imagine that? Get a chance to see the race, get it paid for, and be a part of history. It's all going to be something special. Also, I don't want to forget this, the most important part. We're going to be introducing a new product out there. That's right, the Wipeall X90. I mean, you're talking about something that's cool, folks. I mean, this right here is a super cool product. You're going to love it. I love it. Everybody's going to love it. You want to be a part of it in Phoenix in November. Like I say, go to Facebook slash forward slash, that is, Wipeall Wipers, and get an opportunity to learn more about that. And if you want to know about what's going on with Wipeall, go to Wipeall.com also. All this stuff's happening so fast, so quick, it's going to be here before you know it. Make sure you log on today, find out more about this new product. It's going to be debuting out in Phoenix, plus an opportunity to be a part of it. That's right, all expense paid. Don't miss it. Hey, I'm Jeff Hammond. I'll see you at the race.